Okay, so we have tables in our RCAD Finance table space here. These are all the tables, 44 of them in total. And here are the views which are created uh, for the um, for you, the DBA, to, to select on. Um, so let's take one of these views. Let's uh, first you set your you set this to 2,000. Don't worry about that right now. And type in select text from DBA views where view name is equal to uh, let's just select one RC site. We'll select this one RC site. Okay. Now this is again look in um refer to my youtube videos regarding oracle views to understand what a view is in more detail but here is um we'll notice that this view right here is doing some is doing a select statement and it's coming from the node table that's what it's selecting from and if i say select table name table space name from dba tables where table name is equal to node we'll see that the node table here that this view that this RC view uh, that this particular RC view RC underscore site view um, is referencing it's referencing data from the node table is current is physically resides in the RCAT underscore finance table space so the node table that this view refers to to resides in the RCAT finance table space so that right there shows us that those views have have a direct relationship to the tables that are in the RCAD underscore finance table space. Just a little bit of internal for you. So now let's go ahead and let's reconnect to our let's go ahead and let's reset our um, SID to finance. Ensure it's set right. And now let's not only connect to our catalog this time, but let's also connect to our finance database. And what this our target database. And what this is saying is our man targets we're, we're, we're starting the RMAN program where we're saying RMAN target slash, which means whatever the, or, the value of Oracle SID is, a uh, variable is, which is finance in our case, um, connect, uh, connect to that. That's what the slash says. But also collect, connect to the catalog finance too as this user, RCAT finance with password finance123. Now see the message when you first, when RMAN starts up. Now we get two messages, connected to target database, finance, connected to recovery catalog database. So now you have two messages. Now, this is typically what you want to do when you always back up your database. Every If you do a, a nightly database backup with RMAN or whatever, you want to you want to connect to the target database, which you have to, obviously, because that's the database you're going to back up. And you also want to connect to the recovery catalog. And the reason why you want to connect to them simultaneously is because throughout the lifetime of the backup, it's going to back up, um, I should say the elapsed time of the backup, the duration. It's going to write It's going to write to the backup file like it's supposed to, backing up the data finance database, but it's also going to write metadata about the backup of that database, both in the control file, because it's connected, and to the recovery catalog, because it's connected. But we can't do anything. There's one more step we have to do before we are officially ready to go, and that is we need to register our database, and that's done by a simple command. You guessed it, register database. Database registered in recovery catalog. Start and see you're gonna get a you you're gonna get you're gonna get a sync message every now and then now that you're an R man because the sync in the, the, the message it's a, the metadata that goes into the control file with the data in metadata that should be contained in the recovery catalog database as well. So you're going to see a lot of sync messages from now on, now that you're connecting to both the target database and the um, recovery catalog. So database registered in recovery catalog, start in full resync of recovery catalog, full resync complete. Okay, so now if we go back into our recovery catalog, finance two, There's a table called RC database, a view I should say. Oh, sorry. So 
select view and from uh, EVA views where view name like RC. Okay. Um, connected to the Finance 2 database or recovery catalog, there's a table called RC database, but we have to append. I paused the video while I um, played with it for a second. Why we, we have to append the username that owns the table, RCAT um, Finance, to that table, to that view name. And there it is. And you can see that there is a, um, a name here. So if you select name from RCAT Finance dot RC underscore database, Finance. Okay, so this is telling us logged in for our Finance 2 database. This is telling us that there is a database, a target database named Finance, which is registered to this recovery catalog. And now when you do your backups in the future, you'll connect to the target database and to the recovery catalog. backup database and it will write the metadata to both the target database control file as well as to the recovery catalog. Okay, that's how you create a recovery catalog um, database for RMAN to connect to. And uh, it's true that beginning in Oracle database version 9i and above, you really don't, it doesn't require an RMAN recovery catalog any longer. You can really do it with just, you can really use RMAN with just a control file. But I always, if you have a lot of databases in your environment, like 20, 30, 50, even hundreds of Oracle databases spanning hundreds or thousands of servers, um, you'd be surprised how big in, big Oracle environments I see out there in the field that I come across. You, um, you know, I always recommend in those big environments, I always recommend um, a recovery catalog. I would say that if you have more than five or ten databases, you should consider a recovery catalog. It's just one more small database to consider. Okay? Alright, that's how you create a recovery catalog. Uh, any questions, you can just, uh, as always, shoot me some comments on Facebook, I mean on YouTube, and uh, I, I do respond. Thank you.